Hey, I'm back. It's Mike Mikowski in Gilbert, Arizona. Back with some space modeling videos. As you can see, we have something completely different here. Uh, what I'm going to do this time is uh, many, many years ago, a buddy of mine, when I worked at McDonnell Douglas in St. Louis, he somehow obtained this Mercury model from the uh, surplus shop. I assume it was from the surplus shop. I don't ask. Um, and I thought after all these, it's been sitting in a box all these decades, literally. This is from the, probably the early 80s. I picked this up, so 30 years ago. And um, I think it's time to see if we can restore it or at least clean it up. So what we've got is a, a, a wooden base with some pins here. I guess it kind of holds it in shape. It's clearly wood. The base needs work. Um, it's got a felt bottom. The uh, adapter looks like it might be fiberglass, but it's it's nice. It's a little, well, we're going to repaint everything and patch up what needs to be patched up. There's some sticky pads in here. I'm not sure what the purpose of that was, but that'll go on here. So, and it doesn't really fit that well, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Obviously, it goes this way. Um, the capsule has a window and an interior. You know, it's got a little detail. There's a little astronaut in there. I don't know if you can see that. We'll maybe look at that closer later. It's got painted on shingles. Paint job, the outer, actually the surface of paint job is not bad. It looks like it's fiberglass or something. This thing may come apart. We'll get to that eventually. Um, but then, of course, this will... Well, it's got to go the other way. Because, oh, I know, that's because it sits on these pins. That's it, of course. It's, I know it's backwards. And this will sit here. There you go, okay. And then um, we've got a launch escape tower. This is made out of metal rod. And um, fortunately, it's in pretty good shape. Needs some um, patching up on the nose cone here. The um, arrow spike is not in bad shape. The... Um, uh, escape nozzles. These are just made out of wood, a little dinged up, so they'll need to be cleaned up and repainted. I'll probably repaint all the orange because the orange is kind of nicked up here too. Um, and in the process of cleaning this up, I'm going to have to repaint paint these. And they're just glued into uh, holes here. You know, not too bad. And um, solid wood motor here. This is kind of the, maybe the trickiest part, the nose cap um, is um, kind of bent up and it was made to come apart, there's little hooks on here that would hold it on and uh, let me stand up, I'll get out of the field but you can still see this hopefully and um, yeah it goes on here and it rotates and attaches so that's going to need a little cleanup. we'll see what we can do with that. So anyway, that's going to be the uh, project coming up here. And um, it's going to be uh, very interesting, I think, uh, what kind of work that needs to be done on it. So um, stay tuned for, um, as I try to, maybe I'll start from the bottom up and as pieces are drying, work, uh, work our way up and maybe alternate back and forth. Anyway, that's going to be the, the next project here to restore this. And then what am I going to do? I don't know. We'll get into what scale it is and who made it and all that in the next episode. So stay tuned.